On the roof of the Prospect School in Hempstead, you can see patched fire damage, but inside, water damage is so extensive, officials say the building will not be ready for the start of school, and it's not yet known how long the building will be uninhabitable. One thing we know for sure, we're not going to be able to occupy this building September 5th for our students, so our focus has shifted in terms of, um, so now where? Now where, and how to pay for relocating nearly 600 children. Deputy Speaker of the State Assembly, Erlene Hooper says she's earmarked state funds to help pay for temporary housing for the building students, all kindergartners and pre K. I'm allowed and I have allocated $1 million to the Hempstead School District. This is a grant. It has no strings attached. Still, parents like four year old Shayla's mom worries where she'll be sent. So it's a problem. It is because. If they find another place, maybe it's too far in another town. But local organizations are stepping up to help. The Academy Charter School in Hempstead offering to make room for as many children as it can. The act of God like this really gives us an opportunity to show that we're part of the community. These are our kids. I mean, we may have a separate uh, amount of kids that we service, but these are our kids, and we want to make sure that we open our arms to the families. And the Jackson Memorial AME Zion Church. That is the responsible thing to do for people who love this community. The lightning strike that sparked last week's fire damaged classrooms. This is what's left of a reading room, books, smartboards, computers, and hallways. It's yet another hurdle for a school district embroiled in a costly legal battle over the fate of its suspended superintendent and trying to pull its way out of, at times, a 37% graduation rate, one of the lowest in the nation. The district does have fire insurance, but it's not yet known how much will be reimbursed. In Hempstead, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And we've been following the turmoil in the Hempstead School District. You can watch Carolyn's documentary, 37% is the title. You can find it at CBSNewYork.com and will air as well on TV, CBS 2, Sunday, September 2nd at noon.